Hi guys. So I'm at Jessica Nail Supplies and I'm it's in the Toronto area, so it's not far from me. I just want to go in and get a few little things. Nothing too crazy. I have my list of what I want to get and then the few things that I want to check out as I'm here. It's not that crazy fun because I don't know if I'm going to get like glitters and blings and stuff. I don't like it's not really that run. It's more for bottles and like bling containers. But I'm just going to run and check it out. So let's see. like a little glitter bar. Love all this stuff. These big guys. I have like all these big boxes. So I just want to show you this quick and then I'm gonna put back on my other my other camera. But now Timmy's, you need to give me stuff. You guys are always in my videos. <laughs> Um, now I can see everything when I film So it does help me a lot. So I'm not I don't have to be as close To the cat or for the products to be as close to see But also when I have bigger stuff then I can just be filming up higher and see and it helps especially when I'm doing my own nails to so try to be in like frame a lot better So I can be like hey guys Here's my hands So that's pretty cool and you guys know, I know you guys always see my whole house. I just film from my phone. I have never really switched over to a camera. I just haven't yet. I just keep doing my phone. So you can just get cords from Amazon that go to your phone and a monitor. And then you can just see yourself. So it does, it makes it so much easier. So to be like in phone. But I'm going to switch you over to this one because this is my regular phone and this is my work phone. So let's switch you back. Hi guys, how is everybody doing today? So this is the next day. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm trying to think of, you know when you know you have to edit something and how you have to edit it, edit it, but like your brain has to be like, oh, am I gonna put that in here? Or should I put it in here? You gotta go in before you see this. So I did a little shopping yesterday in, um, I wanna say a local, it's not that far, it's just, 15 20 minutes from me. I live in the city, so to me, everything is local for the most part, you know what I mean? So I did some local shopping, and oh god, it was such a big store, but it was like it was actually Mother's Day, so it was mad busy. And I am the shyest person, like, I it's crazy. Like, even my partner doesn't know, he's like, Well, how do you do like YouTube videos, babe? Like, <laughs> You're so shy, but you talk so proper and like just be yourself when you're on camera. And I'm like, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, I don't know. But for me to hold a camera outside and film and vlog, I'm like, Woo. 
But one thing I do love about my channel and having you guys here is it's helping me get out of my own shell. So I do love that. So with that being said, I tried to film a little bit um, as much as I like could. Like I said, it was actually really, really busy too though. But there's a couple little things. The reason I went there is I have like an itch on my foot. Like I don't know what the bitchies. Maybe I should spray it with alcohol. Do you, if you guys ever have that, if you have an itch, like an itch that just like keeps itching, spray it with alcohol. I find that works like every time. I don't know. It just like stops the itch. It's really weird. Watch now I say that. It's not going to stop that itch. Sorry. I just have like a small itch on top of my foot. Yeah. So I find like it's just, it's really helping me actually get out of my shell. So but that's what we did yesterday. I'm just going to turn off these lamps. I, we just did some Roslyn PR. So that'll come out before this video anyway, so I can show you guys this. Um, because I want to put that out Tuesday. This is Monday. I'm doing this vlog Monday the 9th. So this video will probably... Let's try to get this video out for Wednesday. Let's see. Guys, I, I, like, I do it all. I am the video creator. I'm the editor. I am, like, all behind the scenes. So... It's a lot of work, so it does take time, right? So, I wanted to show you something. I showed it on my Instagram, but just in case you guys don't have Instagram or you just don't really go over to Instagram, I'm going to show you here because I wanted to make sure I show you guys. So, on God! No? Was it too much? <laughs> I don't know. I had fun with it. So, I seen uh, Nails by Jen, and... In her video, I couldn't see what it was. I should have just asked her. I don't I don't know why I didn't. Like, now I'm thinking of it, I'm like, or maybe I should just even go back and ask her. I'd have to, like, find a video where she's doing that in, though, where, who knows, maybe just be like, hey, girl, how do you get them to look like that? So anyways, in her video, I was watching, she was doing a swatch of, I think it was Born Pretty, to be honest. Anyways, it doesn't matter who or what she was doing it, but when she showed it, so I'm just going to like, so like this. So for instance, she showed it, it was the overhead and they were all straight, right? So all of her swatches were like mad straight and she's like pointing at them and be like, oh, this, 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 this. And I'm just like, I can't hold swatches like that. Like I, they're all like, you know what I mean? When you're trying to hold more than like two, they're just like, they don't look straight like that. So I literally like singed my brain and I was like, what can I do to get these to go straight? So I actually had a chip clip and it didn't quite give it like, it was a little too much like spacing in between the little clamps. And I think the reason for that was it's just an older clip or what, who knows, but actually these ones did the same thing. So I'm going to take this out. Oh, I'm done with them anyways. So what I did is I went to the dollar store and I grabbed these chip clips because, well, they're a lot cuter and they're wider and they're a bit thinner. And you guys know I always have foam tape because I use that for my drawers for my glitters. So I put one piece of foam tape just on the inside and that's all that this is. And then it literally just gives it like that little extra cushion and you can hold them straight. And then you don't have to show like when you're doing um, like reviews or swatches or anything like that. And like this has six on it now and you can see there's plenty of room for more. And you don't have to show this piece, right? Like just look. So content creators, or even if you want to like line them up, make it look cute for photos, whatever, like what, wherever your like brain goes, chip clip. Like, come on. I know. Inspiration, eh? So all that being said, these are some new Rosalind colors. This is their pastel. It's such a brain freeze. Their pastel collection. Guys, I love these. Like these three colors here. I don't, I have a, like the yellow, maybe something similar. I probably have something similar to that yellow, but like, I know the lighting is crazy. Like that orange is so soft. It reminds me of tiger tail ice cream. Does anybody else like know about this ice cream? I never personally liked it. It was never my favorite, but I remember that ice cream growing up. It, has that vibes. it could be called something else, but I remember being called tiger tail. So these are all Roslyn's new ones. I will have to go in, sorry, Little Love's out, Blue's out. So he's roaming. He just jumped on the thing. So if you hear weird noises or like me look over there, 
it's because he's out. So I still got to keep an eye on him when he's out. That is all proofed. There's nothing that he can really get into over there that would hurt him. Like any, there's two cords. There's like my Dyson um, fan cord, but I have a protector around it and it's pretty tucked behind the chair so he can't touch that. And then there's another lamp cord that also has a protector on it so he can't. And it's still kind of back. Like I would notice him fiddling in there. So he's out for his exercise time. And I bought him the cutest little bed. It's like, I don't know, a cat bed, but he goes in there when he's out. It's cute. Anyways, so he gets like a half hour every few times a day. I don't like to leave him at more than like 20 minutes or a half hour. I put him, then I put him back in his room to use the bathroom. Don't like leaving a bathroom out for him. I feel like he'll get used to using the bathroom out and that's not cool. We do not pee and poo on mama's stuff. So what am I doing with these? These, I will have to put numbers on these. I'll do that a little bit later just to incorporate them in with my other gels. So they're all gonna get numbers. They already have their things on them. But for now, I don't know why he's up there. What are you doing? Hey, 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 no. No, you're gonna fall. Yeah, I told you, listen. A little bit. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys the chip clip thing. And I'm gonna show you what I got at the nail supply place. Scare the bejeez out of me. Okay, so this nail supply place is called Jessica's Nail and Beauty Supply. It doesn't have anything on it. No. I paid cash, so it's not crazy. Yeah, it doesn't have any nail information. Anyways, so Jessica Nail Beauty Supply is in Toronto off Orphis Road. It's huge. It was like, it was so nice. The only thing, I, I just got like, it's going to sound crazy, but I just got like boring stuff. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have put him out as I'm working because he's going to make mad noise and he's kind of giving me like, I know he can't do nothing to hurt himself over there, like he's fine, but it's the mummy in me. Oh, I feel like I should put my glasses on this light sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what is up, what we got here. So, like I was saying, it's really, like, kind of boring stuff. I was looking at all their glitters and their, like, rhinestones and their charms. And, yes, they're all, like, ah. Oh. But I have so much and still, like, so much stuff coming that I knew it was nothing, like, really, like, caught me you know what i mean like i was this close to buying a new brush but then the brush which i have it right here is literally was like just a different color and it was exactly the same as this and i'm like eh. i have like 20 of these and i've been looking for like a whole new brush set so i was like nope girl save your 10 bucks we're not going to but the price was pretty reasonable but there was needs so i got my needs and even with the needs that i got i think my bill was like yeah, like just over 60 bucks. So I was like, I got bottles. I know, you're probably like, why do you need so many bottles? There's a reason. I want to switch out the bottles that I have stuff in that, and I think there's like one extra stuff that I have stuff in that I got from the dollar store. And I will show you what I mean. Like for instance, this right here, I got this bottle from the dollar store and it's just, I don't know, just a, a basic squeeze bottle. Now you can't put anything acetone or anything like that in it. It would eat this bottle, but I never had anything like that in it anyways. Like my gel wipe solution I used to have in this and I used to put my alcohol in this because it wouldn't do anything to the bottle. Put my alcohol back in this. So I'm going to put a new one, but these little like this is fine but these lids were cracking all the time so i felt like i was just buying new like little lids which you have to buy the whole bottle everything and i was wasting the bottle so i was like i have to get to an actual store and get me some proper bottles so i can just be done with that little hassle of a thing so i did that i got six bottles and i have for sure four things i want to move my lotion into a proper bottle and i even bought a pump I'm gonna move, sorry guys, I'm gonna move my lotion into a proper bottle. She have two cuticle oils. I have one that I made myself. 
that I absolutely love. I think it's really, really good. I really love it for my, like my feet and stuff. When I do my feet mask, I mix that with some lotion. And it's just oh, beautiful. So I'm going to put that one. And then I have this other one, which... So this peppermint cuticle oil is the one that I made. It's a little on the darker side. And then there is this cuticle oil that is really... Oh god, I'm not going to say the name right. I know I'm not going to. It's from Amazon. It's Joby. Is it Joby something oil? It's like for your hands. You can use it for like anything. Really. So yeah. That's what that one is. So I want to put them just in these plain. So I just got all plain bottles because the other ones that they had were just cuticle remover. Which I already had cuticle softener like remover remover I swear lately I can't talk you know acetone and then the other one with alcohol I had these ones from when I first started as those are the ones I grabbed so these ones are fine that are nothing on them now I have looked on it um I don't know I googled or whatever so I think like I'll have to do it again because I don't remember it was a little while ago and again I think it was like nails by Jen that she um she did labels and you could do like homemade labels so i did this last night just basic and then what you're supposed to do is put tape over them put them in water and then they're supposed to be like a proper label i'm gonna try it guys i'm gonna try it. if it works i will post it like on insta or something i want to show you a couple things i changed these drawers behind me got changed so I'm just putting all the lids on. I don't even know. Do they actually charge you for the lids to the containers? No. They charge me for the pump though. That's fine. So I got five lids, six lids, and one pump. Now you're probably like, well, why would you buy that lid? So I have the white the cleaning solution the plate cleaning solution from clear jelly stamper that i tested with another lid there we go perfect so i'm just going to keep the same bottle and just put a lid on it so that way i can squirt it in and be a lot easier to use the only thing i'm a little like huh about that's like kind of bothering me is that okay clear lid red lid <laughs> i know that's anal but uh, i almost feel like i need like three red lids now i don't know maybe i'll move that around maybe i can use the white ones for the two white ones for the cuticle oil and the red will be all like chemically chem chem chemically i don't know what i'm trying to say guys so I got this pump. It is a little bit longer. I'm just going to slice it. We're just going to cut a piece off. Like, there. Maybe a little bit more. I got to watch where anything goes because blue can't eat anything, right? But one good thing, like... I know not all you guys really care, obviously, about, like, about that little dude. But a lot of you do ask about him and always give him love. And he's a big part of my family. He's he's my little, my little baby. So, if you're wondering, like, with the studio being here and him being out, he really doesn't go off the carpet. Like, he will in the corner. There's no carpet. He kind of knows, like, he could explore that area. But here, like, he steps over and he's like what's this and then he goes back like he knows really not to cross the carpet would he do that if I wasn't here 1000% he would like he would be roaming and then probably die because he would eat cords like realistically I can't rabbit proof my whole house it just it won't work and you know what this is not going to work either so that's annoying I thought that would work and it won't but like Fudge sickles. So you guys are getting like a million and eighteen different faces. F fudge sickle in 
that won't work. Two, four, five. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll still have enough to put, but it doesn't make sense for me to put lotion in one of these. Like I have this lotion and it works perfectly fine. That lid part has never cracked. I can just keep an extra lid part from something else just in case, but it doesn't make sense. So now, unfortunately, I have one more thing because this is already labeled. Like why, why move that out, right? Oh, well, we'll keep it. Maybe I need... A pump for something else I don't know I you know what I think I think this is for like the gallon jugs and I'm not gonna lie that might they might have said that on it but I thought I did this I thought I was like yeah it'll work it won't work you know what though hopefully I can find a cute I want it to fit a particular area and that's my thing these fit perfectly where I need them to fit in my little trolley so trolley like <laughs> okay uh in my cart so yeah it can't be any bigger than this so i'll have to find a pump that'll fit that or a particular pump that same size okay whatever okay so all these not fun guys right like i said I'm, i know this isn't a crazy like oh my god shop with me this is a shop with me for real necessity of stuff you need ac acetone proof bottles for anything acetone gel wipe solution anything like that so and i just want all mine to match unfortunately they're not going to have all the same lids but i think i'm just going to put the oils on the white and then all my chemicals will have red lids simple that these are a little bit more exciting so i usually get mine off sheen and i'm really curious to see if they're the same because i actually don't think they look like they would be the same but then I feel like this is a smidge bigger. I used to get these off Sheen. I can't find them on Sheen anymore. So I ideally wanted three more. I have six for all my big bling. I need to organize it a little bit better. Like they're all kind of thrown in there and I'm just not feeling it. Especially when I'm trying to look for inspiration and a particular thing like reaches out at me. I just, it's too much. So I need to figure a better organizing system. And I just think they need to be better organized, right? Like in bigger, different, not different, but more containers. There's too much in the three containers I have. So I wanted to get a couple of these. These were the, probably the most expensive thing. They were like 11 bucks. I don't remember. I think Sheen was like six bucks. So big difference. But like I said, I can't find them on Sheen. And in all truth, you could probably get them from uh, Ali. But I just don't trust the time that I have to wait to get them. And I see a fluff, just like the time that I would have to wait to get them. Usually all stuff is still pretty good, but the probability of them coming busted is really high. <laughs> so wait that long and then they're still like busted. So guys, it's 11 bucks. I just did what I had to do. But they are a lot bigger. Okay, so look at this. Well, I'm glad I got three because it'll fit three, three, hopefully. <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. Look at the size difference. Though. So these are definitely, I'm going to get a lot more room. And so for some of this, the bigger, like already together ones too. So that'll be a whole, I don't know. We'll figure that out. I don't know if I'm going to film it. Let me know. Do you guys want to see that? If not, like I said, I can just bust through that and do that. But probably because it's been a while since I've shown you all my big bling and who knows, right? Maybe we can do something with that. So then, like I said again, guys, I just got three on my lap and that is perfect. I won't need to get any more for my big bling. Like that's it. Like we're done. If I fill these six, these three large and then these three that I already have are already full. I need like bling therapy. Just that. Okay. So I'm just going to come back. Oh, no. Come with me. I have a dilemma. And a few things changed back there too. They're not okay, hold on, let me move you guys around. 
Okay, look. They're like literally a smidge too big. You don't understand how annoying that is in my life. Those, these things are like, I think I'm going to do like, I don't know. I gotta do a giveaway soon. I feel like a giveaway is in my like future. Actually, I have a Venalisa giveaway coming up. It's gonna be so random. It's gonna literally, I'm just gonna give it to somebody in a video. Like that's the way I'm doing it. Oh my God, no. So I really thought that they'd be the same size. So this is messing up my plan, but I guess that's fine. That's just how they're gonna have to live, guys. I'm gonna have to, oh, and they're taller. I guess I should have thought of that. Okay, you know what, that's fine. What I'll do is that these two will go on the bottom, one extra in the back, two up top, we'll be fine. That will, pardon me, I'm so sorry, I have hiccups. Not even hiccup, it's like a, I don't know, indigestion thing. So as I'm here, um, can I just throw these back in there and you not like, be in my way for five minutes? Oh, okay. So this changed a little. No, that didn't change. Well, it just moved down. So this is like my polish drawer now. I know, guys, I'm terrible. I still have not swatched out the model ones. I will get to it. But the model ones are going to go over here because I have quite a few. And then I have like a huge order of them coming as well. So this will be model ones. This will just be a continuation of my other polishes. Empty drawer, love. And look, like, I have nothing, nothing to put away. Like, is that not crazy? And then everything basically is all stayed the same here. Um, I just moved it down. I did, look, I fixed this, guys. Thank you so much to whoever let me know. Somebody let me know that I spelled designer wrong. At the end of the day, like, when I did this, and there's no justification, we all make errors and mistakes, but when I did this, it was like, I don't know, two, three in the morning, and I was out here, like, mass producing labels so you're gonna make mistakes guys and if people correct you be thankful for it it's i don't think it's anything bad i would rather know than be like one day just be like oh son of a biscuit and then i realize like i've been i spelt it wrong right anyways so here a couple of these i gotta redo like they're kind of coming off that's because i've moved them so i just made a second drawer like this because it was just too much up here so i just made the two big ones and then this is the same with more of like kawaii style flowers and stuff like that. And then new products. Guys, we need to do a haul. So I'm just going to like fling you around. Sorry to get you dizzy. I know. It's a whole circle. It just made my life easier though. Oh, I was working earlier. So so this I got at my local, um, I think it's called JISC. Sure, let's call it that. Anyways, it's one of these little I don't know what do you call them little um stool things whatever but it, like it has a thing in it like you open it so what I've done I don't know if I showed you guys this like I just can't remember I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever so what I put in here this literally is my restock now so I just have everything that I need in there for restock so I don't have a drawer anymore I just put it all in here so you have like my tips and just anything swatches Leave my dime, my extra dime stuff, like little towels, you know what I mean? And it works amazing because now I can just put it there and then I put my feet on this. I don't know, I have a, a weird thing of when I work like my feet to be up. I like, I don't know, I like it. And then the other makeshift do that I had and I made, I still like her. She sits over there because when I add it, I put my feet up. I'm weird. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys back around. Oh, as I have you here, actually, I can probably just show you these few things. So I don't know if you guys remember, I know you guys see my whole house, like I really don't care. It's like not the cleanest right now in my opinion, but anyways, that's not, so it's not over here. So <laughs> this picture, this used to be a mirror, like I had a mirror here, which I had that mirror there when this was like my dining room and it was just big. It was too oversized for the, the space. I just didn't really like it. It didn't flow. So I found this. And I absolutely love it because this literally is like my logo. Like I thought it was so meant to be to find like my logo because like, where is it? 
well you guys know my logo you guys see it all the time it's i'm literally holding like a blue rose right so i just thought that was so appropriate and it still matches my home and then this this beautiful just like showcase of like love holding hands nail studio hands like i don't know it was like meant to be when i found this so i definitely i was like yes you're coming home and when i got it like this like here if you notice these little scrapes i don't mind that i actually think it gives a detail it looks like it was just like meant to do that but it actually wasn't so these are just like little imperfections and it had a small crack right here i don't want to like blind you guys see that little crack so it had a oh son of a biscuit so it had a few little things and i literally got like Oh my god, what was it? Like 40% off or something on it. Like it was crazy the discount that she gave me. I was like, yes ma'am. And I don't mind that actually. I like it that it looks like it's been like, there's a word, like antique. Rest, like you know what I mean? Like there's, that's not the word I'm looking for, but if you know the word I'm looking for, put it in the comments. <laughs> so yeah, I actually don't mind that. I probably will like want to scrape up a little bit more around the area, but yeah. So I got such a good deal on it crazy eh? I'm like out of breath and then here let's just do here quickly I got some of these little guys made I know they're not like the best but I got them made for free so I can't complain they're literally just little wooden shelves and all they do is they still go over top of my gels and it makes it so I can have two and they're all like that so, what's a better example? I think Benelisa will be the best example. So here, yes, I moved my Benelisa drawer. It's up here now. So underneath this, and I just pull it out like that, it's all gels. It literally gives me like double the space. So you can do this and in like any of them. So this is not Alex drawer. This is like, an, uh, um, what to say, it's not Alex, it's Ikea. It's Amazon. But if I come down here and I'll show you the same thing that i done here. So... My glitter drawers haven't changed. This is still empty because I'm really trying to keep it. Like, it will become a glitter drawer. But here, so I moved all my hard gels down here. So any hard gel, build a gel. So any of my colored gels basically live here. So this is the same thing. That fits in here fine. Now, it's heavy because it has like mad gels on it. So I just gotta get like a grip, okay, <laughs> with one hand. So those are the five gram pots. So this is sitting on top of that, so you know the height. And this fits perfectly fine. Like I said, it wasn't the best job, guys, <laughs> on the wood. I'm not gonna lie, like I was kind of annoyed that the person that made them, I was like, I don't know, there's called workmanship. You know what I mean? But like I said, guys, they were made for me for free and I just painted them and that myself. So I was like, you know, you can't really, I don't know. I said like, yo, I would have paid you if you would have done it like not nail sticking on and stuff, but you know what I'm saying? Anyways, this hasn't changed at all. That's all the same stuff. So I'm going to flip you guys back. What a break. Yeah. So I appreciate like the person making them and like said I didn't have to pay for them or anything like that or even like the wood I had the white paint so I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so appreciative but I'm the type of person I feel like if you're going to do something do it to the best of your ability and I just feel like it was like more thrown together and just not crazy workmanship and I know that that's like not like their standard so I was like but they work fine they're gonna hold the paint actually helped hold any of the splintery things like away and I sanded it so it's fine so yeah if you guys have those drawers and you're able to get somebody to do that for you or I also used to use at first I used to use the little paper you know the little paper things you put on your desk the little paper holder I guess they're all they're in my storage so like I can't really grab them right now but they work as well so yeah What's it? Like all that and a bag of chips. Where are you, little one? Yeah, I haven't heard him in a minute. Okay, so that's what I got. I got bottles and then these I will have to go through a little bit more. 
But okay, I also grabbed. Sorry guys. Oh, so sorry. So I also grabbed some just straight nail tips. Now I just grabbed the nail tips that I feel are gonna fit my pans. So I kind of somewhat know what size is. So I just grabbed a couple. I think like one or two of each size for now. I can always go back there. I just wanted to make sure that these are gonna fit fine and I know them for sure, write them down exactly what they are and then I'm good. So that's it. That's it, right? Yeah, oh yeah. And I got some primer bottles. So these bottles are empty bottles. I really only needed one. I don't really know why I grabbed two. I think just extra. Who knows? But what I'm going to do with this bad boy. This little young nails is going to live in here. I'm going to put that in this bottle because these bottles are like little spiller hazards. Don't get me wrong. It works great if you leave it in one of them, but I feel like I can eliminate a lot of the smaller bottles and then just have it here. I haven't vlogged a lot. Just been busy, guys. And sometimes, like, I just, I can't in the house, right? Like I said, you guys know I work from home, so I hope my house isn't always, I don't always have the house to myself and I still have other stuff that has to get done. So I vlog when I can. So I think that's it. Yeah, this is what I really wanted to show you guys though. Seriously, try it for any content creators or just anybody guys, try it. Um, will it work without the foam tape? Not as good. To be honest, the foam tape really, really helps. You can get that on Amazon and it works great for drawers too. For any slipping and sliding of those little pots. Whew. That seemed like a lot. So guys, I have to like mass film today like i really want to get these clear jelly stampers filmed out up i want to play with them i want to see what they're all about and i haven't and then i have a huge i don't know if i'm going to do it in two parts i think i am because realistically yes they're all one but they both have their own little identity so i think i want to keep them with that so i have, i'm going to have a massive gd coco haul coming like guys i bought the whole collection I had he had a few. I have one, two, three. I think I have five. I have five of the collection right now, and I literally bought the whole other part of the collection. So that will be that. There's a whole big haul. I don't know how I'm gonna swatch it. I like it is so many that I don't, like it definitely won't happen at once. So I will see. Maybe. Let me know. Maybe I can do like something. I don't know. I was thinking a live, but it makes me nervous. <laughs> I don't know, guys. My anxiety lately has just been like a little extra. And I don't know why. Like, I really don't. I wish I knew the reasons for it. I don't like, I don't believe it has anything to do with my channel. Um, I'm pretty good at trying my best to keep everything organized. And. I don't think so. I just think it's just overall everything. Like, life gets busy and you still have obligations. And as things grow, obligations change and differ. And it's just a lot. But I'm really hoping that... I know I can go from one to the next. I'm really hoping that I can get that to work better. I don't want this white. If I can't, I'm just going to use my label maker. Which I'm just going to use, for these type of tips, I just use an old foil box. Because all of my tips now... I don't know if I even showed you guys that. I even changed my cart. So this is Blue, wondering why he's not making any noise. He's literally just sitting. I don't know, he likes it back there. Uh, maybe he likes like the cold of the floor. This little bed, like he doesn't want to go in his bed. He'd rather just sit there and chill. Like, what are you doing, bud? You gonna come out? You gonna come? Come here. No? You're good? You're like, Mom, leave me alone, man. You trying to have a nap? Say hi to the people. You gonna come? No? Alright, go about your business. <laughs> 
So his cage is like up higher now, so he has a lot more room down there. And I don't know, he just likes to sit under there. It's really weird. Alright, so more of what you guys came for. So I just wanted this here I've changed. Um, I think like this used to be kind of up there. And these are just like my little rhinestone guys. Holders and things like that. Little pillows that I use all the time to block light. Anyways, so here I put... So this is just practice tips. Now in it, it's the stilettos and the ballerinas. Now for them, I do find, I just put whatever the number is I use for my hands. So these are just for the hands or my little fingers. Fingers are actually different. So these are just all for either like these guys here too. Like these little practice ones just to do quick art on or anything like that. And then swatches, of course, mini lamps, just in case you don't want to use the big guy. This little guy works great as well. And then, yeah, guys, the same thing. So all these are just for practice. So these are just the white ones, so I don't have to paint nails white. And again, black, so I don't have to paint the nails black. So if I'm doing any cat eye or anything like that, it just makes it easier for demonstrations. These are just some actual, some old nail tips that I had that I used to use on myself, which... Those are like kiss. You should get them from like Walmart or whatever. Now I just kind of see whatever ones I can use for my hands. I haven't really organized them. I just kind of threw them up there in all honesty. Which I can feel by the space that they'll have to go anyways. Because those nail tips will go into something like this. And then they will be marked for whatever hand. Because each of my hands are different sizes. So the one from Allie is a different size to the one I have from Amazon. All my fingers are pretty much fours. So... All the fingers are the same, and the fingers stay up, stay up on my desk. There. So yeah, my fingers are up there. Um, their nails, because it's just easier to grab them. I know I'm moving you guys so much. But I think that's it. I don't. I can't really think of anything else that is kind of like new and exciting. But yeah, guys, I hope this vlog will kind of give you guys what you needed give that a little bit of i don't know blog itch <laughs> that's funny that's funny i don't know i've been like i like vlogs like i prefer vlogs real like to watch even to me like i only really like and enjoy watching nail art when i'm doing nail art because it's like it gives me inspiration but i feel like I need some like who like who out there like give me some good nail vloggers a lot of the girls that I, I do watch and support and a lot, of, a lot of them don't do vlogs so I watch their hauls and I do watch their nailer and stuff like that but like I like some like good vlogs like who's like let me know maybe I'm just like missing like some peeps out there that do vlogs often don't get me wrong I myself comes on the tv and I'm like eh, I laugh at myself all the time like literally I can still make myself laugh when I'm like watching my program i'm like <laughs> is that sad though is it sad i laugh at myself so that's it guys i think that's it i think that's it i have to finish up a couple of these photos actually i need to do some instagram stuff and then finish but i think that's it i'm just gonna end it here because if i don't then i don't know if i will be able to end it or whatever i don't know so let's just end it so thanks guys so much i truly truly appreciate all you guys and all the love and support that you guys give me thank you for watching this video if you guys like it give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe it does make a huge huge difference i know like i think realistically there's like 40 46 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so just hit the subscribe button then you'll know when i have content if you hit the thumbs up and you put the notification bell because I am going to be doing a giveaway very soon and the way you're going to know that you are in that giveaway or you have a chance to win that giveaway is only through watching my video. It's not going to be like how most of my other videos are giveaways. It's just going to be a random in a video. I'm going to do a giveaway. This is what it is. And yeah. So you have to put the notification bell on. It's the only way you're going to know. And you have to be subscribed. That's it. That's all.
you guys hit that subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye